Hey, what's up guys? My name is Acherno and this is episode 102 of Game Programming. Okay, so this episode is going to involve us tweaking the ASL search algorithm slightly as well as fixing that little collision bug that we had. So if we launch our game in the current state that it is in, you can see that we have a, uh, a guy here, well, a mob that we called Star. We've got this Star mob that utilizes the ASL search algorithm to actually move around um, and, and as you can see, follow us. Now, uh, now he's got a bit of a problem, this guy. If we go up here, let's just say, he comes to us. But if we go around here fast enough, you can see he gets stuck on this little corner, okay? And that's a result of the collision area being slightly a bit too big for him to get past. So the simple way of going around fixing this is simply going into mob. Because, of course, star is, star is a mob, right? And thus, the collision for star is inside the collision for mob, which is right over here. Now, <clears throat> the very, very simple tweak that we can just apply is uh, just tweak the collision area so that it's slightly less. So if we change this 15 to a 6, uh, sorry, if we change this 16 to a 15 here for both the X and the Y, you'll be able to see that uh, he'll be able to get around that corner, no problem, okay? So that's the very simple way of fixing that. Now, the other thing is um, he doesn't really like diagonals, okay? This is going to be quite a short episode, I just realized, but it doesn't matter. This uh, this guy's going to, um, he, he, he's going to kind of avoid diagonals as much as he can. And logically so. You can see that he goes around, he goes kind of, um, if, if I just come up here real quick, he goes straight all the time, and then at the end, he kind of takes this diagonal route here. And the reason he's doing that is because obviously diagonals are, let's just say, well, they're worse than going straight up, right? It takes you longer to go diagonally than straight up. Um, and the reason is, of course, if I crack open paint.net real quick, I'm sure you guys already know the reason, but for those of you who don't, the reason is because if we draw a simple triangle here, sorry for my crappy drawing skills with the mouse, if we draw a, a triangle here, you can see that going over here is going to be ab about 1, going over here is going to be a scale of 1, and going over here, I'm going to try to do a normal one of these, there you go, is going to be root 2, okay, or roughly roughly 1.41. That being said, this is the length of 1, that's the length of 1, that's the length of 1.41. <clears throat> so it's clearly a larger distance to go diagonally, and thus the A star search algorithm says, okay, well, I'm not going to prefer that. Now, that's really cool, okay, and that, that works, but we aren't some kind of GPS system that's trying to find the most optimal path somewhere. We want this guy to kind of behave more like a human, and a human, if we... This guy's getting... This guy's like a pet or something, isn't he? <laughs> I should call him a pet. That would have been a good idea. But um, you can see that uh, I'm. By the way, the place that I shoot out is not. I'm not just shooting for fun. I'm trying to show you guys something. So um, the place that I shoot out. If if I'm trying to get to there and I'm over here, you know, my instinct isn't to go like this and then like that. You know, my instinct is to go ahead and go like this, right? So first move diagonally, then straight, rather than move straight as long as I can, and then, as you can see at the end here, move diagonally. All right. So if I start over here. I'm over, oh, now we've got this other chaser on us. There we go. Um, if I start over here, and uh, let's just say I move a bit to the left. I move up, and then a bit to the left, or to the right. You can see that he moves at the end. Uh, to fix this, or to kind of rewrite this A-star search algorithm in a way, if we go to the level class, into our find path method, which of course is our A-star search algorithm, um, if we go down here into... Uh, the costs we can tweak that, and this is where it, this is where some really cool things come in, right? At the moment, we've got if something's solid, then continue. You know, um, if we add water to the game, which we probably will, right? Right? Once we add water into the game, I don't know. Realm of, does Realm of, does Realm of the Mad God permit water going through water? I think so. I don't even, don't even think it slows you down. It might. Anyway, um, our water will probably have some special features like you know swimming and. Uh, slowing you down and thus being a, a larger cost to, to, to travel through water. So we'll tweak the A-star search, search algorithm to try and avoid it where it can, but not completely just ignore it. Um, anyway, the point of this is that these two cost values can be tweaked depending on circumstances to kind of make the algorithm prefer certain things, right? Because it's going to find the lowest cost path. So in other words, what we need to do is where, where we get the distance here, um, essentially what we want to do is say that, because currently this is what's happening, right? This get distance is either returning one, if it's, uh, that kind of movement. So in other words, if it's, um, not diagonal and if it is diagonal, it's returning 1.41. Okay. Roughly it's returning the root of the square root of two. Okay. And that's if it's going, if we're going diagonally. 
okay? So um, what we want to do though, is if we want it to prefer diagonals, we can just tweak this to be something like 0 0.9495. Honestly, it doesn't really matter what it is in between 5 in between 0 0.5 and 0. Uh, I get well in between 0 0.5 to 1 it's probably roughly going to be the same if you put it lower than 4 than 5 than 0. 0.5 what it's going to do is it's going to count two diagonals two diagonals is going to be better or lower cost than one straight <laughs> which means that your guy will z actually you know what let's try that out We'll try that out as well so I can show you guys the effect. But what will happen is you guy will zigzag. Instead of going straight or whatever, he'll zigzag because diagonals are better. Um, or at least he's getting the impression that diagonals are better. Right, so to change this, if we go into get distance, what we can do is uh, get this little thing that we're returning and then conditionally return it, right? So double distance equals that, okay? Uh, so, and then we can, over here we can do, so if distance is um, if distance is greater than one, right, then we can return, uh, in fact, if distance is equal to one, well, this is kind of stupid, but return one, I guess, otherwise we can return uh, 0 0.95, for example. So um, we might just change this to be the other way around, just so it looks a bit nicer. All right, so if you guys haven't seen this kind of crazy question mark notation, by the way, all this is saying is, what this, what the product of this will always be a number, right? And all it's saying is take into account the this Boolean expression. If this Boolean expression is true, then that number is 0.95. Otherwise, or it's one, else, I guess. This is, this is like an else, it's one, okay? So to, just to emphasize this as well, it's basically just a double, okay? So that this whole equation returns a double, right? It simply takes into account this Boolean expression. Again, if this Boolean distance is greater than one, if that is true, it will set S to be 0 0.95. Otherwise, if this is false, it will set S to be one. It's just kind of just shorthand for writing it, okay? And that'll just help us a bit. All right, so simple as that. Now, what did I just do? I just opened, what, what did I even do? I just opened help. Whoops, the welcome screen. Um, okay, so if we launch this, okay. <laughs> See, check this out, right? Right now, he's, uh, look at this. He's going all crazy. Okay, he's going all crazy here. You can see he's, he's just, he's not moving straight at all. So if we go back to this, we can tweak that. Um, let's set this back to equals one. So if it does equal one, uh, we will return one. Otherwise, we'll return 0 0.95, okay? So if we go back to this, oh no, he's still doing that. Okay, that's odd. Um, let's see. So if we come up here, Get distance current L. Yeah, he's gonna do that because of the H cost, so we can't simply do that. The H cost, this is the other important thing. The H cost, which is the heuristic cost, that is kind of the, I guess, the, the whole cost of him getting from uh, his current position to the, to the goal, right? The current position to the goal, or, or, or like the tile that you're considering to the goal. Um, that has to actually take in, into account the real thing. So we can't do it this way, right? Because it needs to know that tiles are actually, when they're diagonal, they are still, you know, greater. So in other words, the the age cost component has to know that diagonals are actually 1.41, whereas this doesn't. So the easiest way to, to do this is gonna be really simple. Instead of adding get distance, we can say, we can actually add uh, get distance, right? And if it's one, sorry, uh, if it's, um, let's see here. If, if it's, uh, if it's one, then one, otherwise 0 0.95, all right? So a bit of a bit of a twist here, right? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna add, it's gonna add either one or 0 0.95. If get distance is one, it's gonna add it, otherwise it's gonna add 0 0.95, okay? So if we run this, we should see a much cleaner kind of build. So you can see he moves straight away this time. Instead of having to do it at the end, he's moving, he's moving straight away. As soon as I move, he moves, right? You can see that here, here as well. And that's just a bit more human-like, I guess. Um, he's gonna look a bit more, a bit more serious here, a bit more, a bit more determined. So you can see our guy now can pretty much do anything he wants in the world. He can reach us. If I go up here and hide behind this little corner and camp here, he's gonna be able to come to us and kill us. So that's that's the idea, okay? Uh, why collision needs to be fixed a bit as well, but that's a that's a rough tweak. Anyway, um, 
that's it, right? So he can, as you can see, that A star search algorithm is working wonderfully. He's finding us wherever we are and uh, not even skipping a beat here. Look at him. Determination, guys. Determination. So then, anyway, that's going to wrap up um, probably this series of A star videos. We're probably going to start implementing something like a like a GUI. A, uh, that's a graphical user interface for those of you who don't know. Um, something along the lines of, oh, you know what? Let's make it okay. This is what we're probably going to do next episode. We're probably going to make a um, a mob that shoots projectiles at us, okay? Because um, I think that was quite re quite re requested. And then after that, we'll probably start on some kind of inventory and GUI system. All right. So um, anyway, but do let me know what you guys want to see. I think you guys would want to see a mob that shoots projectiles at you. That's a relatively quick episode, but we'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy the episode, which I'm sure you did because it was awesome, please hit the like button below. And uh, yeah. Also, if you guys need help, this is, I should probably mention this because a lot of people ask me this all the time. If you guys need help with uh, with your code, something's gone wrong, you're just not quite getting it, I do have a website. It is uh, thecherno.com slash forums, right? So what you can do is you can go to that and... Uh, if you go to that, there'll be a link in the description, of course. There is a massive forum here, right? If you go to Game Programming, because this is the name of this series, once you've registered, make sure you register first, right? Do not, do, do, like, you won't be able to register in the actual forum. Register on the actual website. And then once you log in, of course, into the website, um, go to this forum, go to the Game Programming Forum, and make a new topic, and I'll try and help you as best as I can. You can see that uh, this community is quite active, so you'll be able to probably find your... Uh, your answer to your to your question or your problem there. So anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye <music>